how is it hanging everyone it is andrew from itb here we're gonna go hands on and just do some of the cool features you can see in affinity photo which has just made the jump to ipad i absolutely love affinity photo on the mac as well as affinity designer by serif on the mac and it was actually featured for the launch of affinity photo on ipad by apple at wwdc this is a huge photo editing application, so we're not obviously gonna jump into everything, but we're gonna jump into a few things. First off, uh, photo support. There's tons of different places you can import images from, from cloud services, you can create panoramas and uh, HDR type photos, lots and lots of different options. You can pull and drape straight from photo or from your drive or other cloud accounts. Then you can just create them from scratch and use them as kind of an artboard for painting or something. Some of the cool things that you can do, I love this here. So I can just kind of tap on the circles at the bottom and move my finger to the left and right to scale. So I don't have to do multiple taps to get something done. I just drag and scale. And now I can easily find something like a ship and I can just wipe over it and it's gone. We can try it again because I actually did this a few times because I could not believe how well this worked. And there are lots of applications that do this object removal. But I was really impressed how well they did it in complex areas. Like in this little cove here, I thought this would be a pain in the butt because there's dark water, light water, and the, the hillside. And yet, it really did a great job in masking that in and it looks pretty, pretty much natural. As you get going in the application, there's lots of more advanced features. I mean, I can do these kind of blur effects and move it around and kind of if I want to pull this to the end of the road, like we're kind of moving at a faster speed, definitely something you can manage uh, depending on what you want to do. I really like these color replacement things, these tint changes here. So if you have a picture of a flower, you can go in. Again, I'm just holding on the hue color and moving to the left and moving to the right. And I can really just change the tint, the color, and the vibrancy of this flower here and it just it looks so smooth and natural i really really like the interface of how this is able to work itself out i was also extremely impressed with the object selection so i have a photo here of this girl i'm going to go ahead and drag my finger over and actually select the image but i'm going to go on the left hand side and choose refine image or refine selection i'm just going to go around the edge and the problem is usually with the hair and the other areas like that and this is something we saw demoed at WWDC, and it takes a lot longer on older hardware. This is one of the original iPad Pro, so it takes a little bit longer to figure out this hair refinement item selection out. Um, hopefully it'll be a lot quicker on those new ones, because when we saw this on stage, it was, it was pretty much instant, but I wanted to see how it looked in real time for you guys. But that was it, it was only a few moments, but now we actually zoom in, and it's literally gotten almost every single hair individually on that selection. So just a really, really cool job, and it only took a few moments compared to you know, doing that on my computer even. Just a few of the main common tools that you're gonna see when you're working with kind of a desktop photo editing application. We're gonna go down the side, you got your, like, your move tools and selection tools, you got uh, different brushes that you can work with, the crop tool to crop your photo in, you got the paint can or flood fill tool, uh, the gradient tool, paint, pixel, color replacement brushes are all here. We've got the eraser, so you actually go in and move individual, um, whatever you need to remove from your image. We have the dodge burn, blur, smudge, all of those similar tools down here in this menu, lots of stuff that you can play with. We've got the stamp tool, which also has uh, several other functions hidden below it that you can get into, um, a patch tool, healing brush, blemish removal, really easy to go in there. I can move my little circle down the bottom, make it a bit smaller and remove, you know, freckles or some type of facial blemish from someone. Really, really easy, but those are pretty common tasks. But I know those are the ones that people are going to want to do often. So it's really important to make sure that this can do them well. Along the right hand side, you do have full layer support. You have the color chooser. It's not just a, or, sorry, not color chooser, but the actual color wheel. There's also like five different versions of it. We have brushes, which are a ton of different effects. We have adjustments that you can make, and they break them down into categories. So you can see all the different categories here, like the black and white ones, the exposure ones to bump it up or bump it down, some thermal ones. And these aren't just effects because we actually do have a full effects effects one outside of the actual adjustments ones. Aside from effects and adjustments, we also have filters and it is easy to access a lot of these filters quickly from the actual photos application and with the new mac os high sierra there's some really cool stuff you can do with punching out to work in the external photo editors uh though obviously we're working on an ipad you have layer effects like drop shadows everything like that you have text you can add text to your photos 
really nice to see things like histogram and channels to actually break these out to get this more to the level of pro application. I work on images a lot and I've used Affinity Photo pretty much since it launched on my Mac and I've absolutely loved it and I'm so excited to start trying it out on my iPad. It makes it really easy to integrate this into my workflow and pulling in images from all sorts of different locations, saving to locations. iOS 11 is going to make that even better and you'll see that as we start looking at some of the, I, or the iPad specific features in all of our different iOS uh, and WWDC 2017 coverage. So if you'd like to pick up Affinity Photo, there's a link below in the description. Let us know what you think down in the comments, subscribe, also give us a thumbs up, and until next time, it's Andrew for IDB.